Hi everyone, welcome to another video from my 2025 Bug Bounty Experience series. In this series, I share real hands-on vulnerability that I personally discovered, tested and exploited. Not a normal company, not a normal program, on public program from bug bounty platforms and uh, today I want to talk about subclasses of broken access control vulnerability, one that was discovered by me. Uh, I found this method on May 2025 and I shared uh, with my student, mentoring students on live hunting classes and uh, this single vulnerability type alone resulted in over 60,000 in bug bounty rewards. I call this vulnerability reservation second order either. This issue mostly appears in application with uh, tree or hierarchical infrastructure. Systems where user can invite other user, object can have multiple uh, creator or multiple uh, users can access to that specific object or relationship between objects are not uh, strictly linear. Uh, that said, I've uh, seen this vulnerability in a uh, completely uh, normal application, but in the many times I found this vulnerability on the application with a uh, multi-privileged user and uh, every time I call uh, these applications are gold because I found many reports on the applications like this. All right. Uh, now, let me break it down why second order, because uh, the vulnerability does not appear when you directly attack the target object. What is the directly attack tar target object? For example, uh, I show you uh, in here a real sample. You can create a financial document with this pass and uh, your document ID is one or three or six or seven. All of them is about your company. And with this pass, you can change uh, one of your, uh, you can update one of your uh, document object. This is a directly attack. You can try to change, for example, seven to nine, seven to 10. And uh, you can use multi, tricks for example integer to float parameter pollution query manipulation reverse proxy tricks and similar bypass like this uh, i uh, talk about all of them on uh, mentoring classes but when uh, all of them uh, did not work uh, you need to shift your perspective and uh, in the application you have to discover a, fu a function uh, or uh, two or three or five or uh, a function call our object uh, what does it mean uh, for example uh, you create a financial data and uh, you have a task creation function on that application and task creation function can use uh, some object in a uh, its request for example in here you can see we have a re we have a request like post company task and in this uh, request we can create a task for another user and on this request you can see a specific variable uh, i call uh, pays id pays id it's the object id uh, mapped to financial data all right this means attach financial document uh, one to a task created by user and here is a, the critical uh, behavior for uh, logical attackers because in many multiple user application if an object id does not yet exist or has no owner the backend often accepts uh, it has placeholder storing only a default or empty structure uh input data on uh, that uh, id with uh, no owner with no uh, creator and uh, that id does not exist yet and now we are trying to exploit uh, this trick and uh, i want to show you how can i 
exploit uh, this vulnerability how, and how can I earn more than $60,000 with uh, this uh, broken access control uh, method founded by, found by me. We create a financial document uh, on that application and when we create financial document in the response we can see uh, for example 98 it means the latest number about financial documents from all users all companies on that application is 98 and uh, it means uh, the object id 100 uh, for financial document it not exist yet you can use uh, more than 100 for example 150 because uh, maybe uh, the application has many user and uh, you cannot use uh, one or two number uh, upper than your object ID created by you in the last try. All right, uh, then during task creation, we reference, listen to me, after create a financial object, uh, now we are trying to task creation and in our task creation, we did not use 98, 1, 3, or 7. We use 100. We use a number we believe does not exist yet. And object uh, attached to uh, our task management. All right, this object does not exist yet. But in the future, this object will create by another user and when create by another user and uh, before create by another user the, app, uh, the application the backend check does this object have an owner of course not so it links the id to our task later when document uh, 100 is created the system automatically loads its data into our task don't forget if the object already exists at a uh, task creation time uh, the attack fails for example if you use uh, 68 because the 68 created a uh, 68 uh, pays id created by another user and uh, this financial data has owner when you are trying to create a task uh, it fails uh, because ownership is probably checked the exact scenario was uh, demonstrated uh, on live uh, bug hunting on multiple real world targets during Pentester Land Academy mentoring sessions in May 2025. Uh, before I wrap up, I want to say something. If you enjoy this video, if you uh, enjoy the content like this uh, about my real experience uh, on a new method or new vulnerability type, um, I like to. Uh, like this video by you or uh, add comment and share with your friends and uh, i have another news to my follower and subscriber about uh, 2026 at the first months of 2026 we will have a, a next mentoring course uh, it includes training from fundamental to advanced exploitation, deep access control logic analysis and chain uh, with uh, technical vulnerabilities. We uh, talk about uh, at the first introduction to API hacking, JavaScript and uh, logical and technical vulnerability at at the second we are trying to uh, chain all of them uh, together and at the uh, third part of uh, our class we want to find all of them on real platform on real companies uh, and uh, we are we will work on uh, famous applications and famous companies uh, on public programs by bounty uh, if you uh, are interested to join us, you can uh, send message to uh, Pentesterland underline supported uh, Telegram account and uh, you can receive uh, more data about this course. And thank you for watching me and for supporting content that uh, goes beyond uh, surface level techniques.